Good Friday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this June 15th. It is 4.35 a.m. Central Time. And, um, you know, we had hoped for a little bit better uh, break in the humidity. It didn't quite happen for us. That front was a little bit slower in getting through parts of southern Kentucky. In fact, it is stalled out at the moments, a uh, moment, <laughs> moments, moments, uh, at the moment over western Kentucky and then just kind of snaking down through middle Tennessee. And because of that, we're still somewhat muggy. But it does feel somewhat better this morning than it did yesterday. Uh, but that's not going to last. We're going to continue with heat and humidity building back into Father's Day weekend. I would say go ahead and keep your plans for outdoors. It's just going to be awfully hot. I don't think we're going to see much of any, if any, rain. Uh, things look fairly dry uh, across the uh, area for the weekend. Uh, some of the models are trying to hint at a late day shower on Sunday, but um, for now, we're going to keep it out of the forecast. All right, here's a look at the numbers from your Thursday. We had a high of 91 at the Bowling Green Airport yesterday at 3.45 p.m., and that 91 was 5 degrees warmer than the average of 86. 71 was our low temperature. That was 7 degrees warmer than the average of 64. And as far as last year, we had a high of 91 and a low of 68, so almost exactly what we had last year in 2017. No rainfall yesterday. We're holding at just under a half inch total for the month of June. That puts us behind now by over an inch and a half. And now we're seeing our year-to-date surplus go back into the negative column. We're 17 hundredths of an inch behind for the year. Doesn't sound like much, but it's a trend that's been going on for a while. And it uh, looks like we could use some rain. But we're not going to see any, it appears, for the next three days at least for the next three days. Here we go. Mostly sunny, hot today, 92. Now, I will say I am watching some light rain showers near this stalled frontal boundary in the southern Illinois, far western Kentucky and southwestern Indiana. But they look to be falling apart as they head south along that boundary so I think uh, once the morning gets going those are just kind of gonna fall apart but we are seeing a few clouds this morning from that system but there's not much out there so uh, if you happen to pick up a raindrop it's uh, by happenstance that you're close to that front and that's about it otherwise we'll see mostly sunny skies today It'll be mainly clear but warm tonight, 68. Saturday, we've adjusted the numbers a little, but it's still going to be just awfully hot. 94 for a high with sunshine on Saturday. Father's Day, mostly sunny, 93. Still, perhaps somebody could hit 95, 94, or 95, either one would put us as the hottest day of the year because so far 93 is the hottest we've had so far this year as far as <clears throat> excuse me monday uh, that's when we start to see this big dome of high pressure that's going to bring in the heat for the southeast for the weekend move a little bit further south and east and on the back side of that high pressure naturally We'll get these late-day pop-up showers and thunderstorms each day. Otherwise, you'll see a mix of clouds. It will be hot, humid. And then toward the afternoon, you get these buildup of clouds and these showers. So we'll put in a 20% chance of an isolated shower thunderstorm Monday and Tuesday. Highs, respectively, 91, 92. Wednesday, a little better chance of showers to 30%. 
more widely scattered as a frontal boundary comes in and starts to stall across the area. So we'll put in a 30% chance for both Wednesday and Thursday next week with highs around 90. As I mentioned yesterday, next Thursday is officially the first day of summer. As if we haven't had it already, but just a technicality at this point. All right, uh, by the way, uh, this morning we are going to kick off another big ticket blitz for the St. Jude Dream Home. Ticket sales are robust, but I think we're going to move a lot of tickets today because if you purchase your $100 Dream Home ticket before midnight tonight, you will qualify to also win <clears throat> even if you don't win the house or anything else, you will qualify to win a year's worth of gas and groceries valued at $4,800 from Houchins. So that is what we're doing today. You'll see us on AM and midday and this evening's newscast uh, uh, broadcasting from our conference room where we'll have volunteers from St. Jude Children's Research Hospital set up to answer the phones and uh, hopefully you'll buy one of those $100 tickets or maybe more you can you're welcome to buy more than just one but we'll kick that off this morning and all day today we're going to help try to move as many tickets as we possibly can and again if you purchase a ticket before midnight tonight you will then be put in the qualification uh, you'll qualify to win that year's worth of gas and groceries on top of the all the other prizes, including the St. Jude Dream Home. So there is a number you can call. In fact, you can call it right now if you want to. It's 800-834-5461. Again, that's 800-834-5461. Or you can go to our website, wbko.com slash dreamhome, and it will give you all the information there. And you can go and uh, using a credit card, you can go ahead and purchase a $100 ticket. So let's get it, get it done today. Let's get uh, as many tickets as possible moved. Uh, we're going to give this thing away in August, okay? So thank you for your help in advance. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 5 on AM Kentucky, 11 AM on midday. Streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com and the WBKO weather app plus Amazon Alexa news and weather briefings. Later today, join me for my radio show at Classic Hits, Sam 100.7, between 3 and 7 p.m.